Hi everybody and welcome to the first ever EV monthly rivals in Forge Horizon 5. This is series 9 and while it's the first EV rivals, I don't think it's gonna be the last. If you look at your coming soon screen in the festival playlist, you'll notice a little EV icon in there. So my wild guess is that next month we'll see an influx of electrical cars and EV monthly rivals will become a thing going forward. Maybe not forever, but at least for some time. But in this very first one we get to drive this gorgeous Lotus Evia, the electrical car by Lotus with four electrical motors, one for each wheel and each boasting 500 horsepower. The car is not yet in production, even though the model year is 2020, but uh, I don't believe they made any real ones. But they make their appearance in the video games. Pretty much every modern video game has Lotus Evia, so I guess Lotus is pretty free with their licensing and really wants to advertise this new car. As you may have noticed, we are driving on H HMC, Horizon Mexico circuit and as always I just go with the rivals the way the game suggests so whatever rival it offers me I try to beat doing a bunch of standing laps first until I can no longer beat my rival from the standing start and then I proceed to flying laps so this is my second lap no prep as usual, but I can tell you this car is very, very easy to drive. It could use a bit more handling. It's not the first time the electrical cars in Forza suffer from quite a bit of understeering, but it's not as bad as the Ferrari we had some time ago, at least uh, in my taste. It is kind of all right. And if you only looking to post a clean lap, this is going to be very easy to do. You don't need traction control with it. The power distribution and all-wheel drive make it um, very, very controllable at all throttle. Is there a throttle uh, in electrical vehicles or is there another term for it? But anyways, in all uh, possible throttle options, you can smash it all the way down and it uh, behaves all right. But obviously, if you do exercise some control, especially out uh, outside the corners, when you exit in the corner, it becomes better. You can avoid sliding the car quite a bit. But overall, as I said, it's pretty, pretty easy to drive. You can see I'm quite a bit ahead of my current driver, so this is possibly the last of the standing laps beating the paddock uh, who's coming up next yes the next one is uh, is ptg predator and i wasn't able to beat him on the standing lap but i don't think his time will hold on the flying one you can see i'm uh, making a few mistakes here but i'm already ahead so this was the first kind of challenging time in my run um, as I said because I had to go into flying lap and he sticks close while I'm still learning how to operate this car the lines are not optimal I'm still sliding quite a bit in the corners and I, I don't think I have found the optimal line for this car in all of my runs even my best lap I wasn't too happy about it and some of the corners approach that I discovered uh, in my last run was you know something to try further but maybe I'm not sure this run you can see has provided quite a bit more challenge I'm on 11th lap trying to beat Ryan's time and it's been quite irritating because for the three laps before it in a row I was within five um, 500 of his time but wasn't able to pull it off I didn't dirty the lap which is which would be even more irritating but was so so close and still couldn't cross the line I had but finally after 11 laps I managed to do it by the skin of my teeth you can see we are very very close here and that's how it goes between me and Ryan usually 
sometimes I'm a little bit ahead, sometimes he is. My last lap is against Rezaxer and I couldn't manage to beat his time in the time I had allocated for this challenge. However, I'm pretty happy with my lap overall and I'm pretty happy with the time I posted. At the time of the run it was something around uh, 1300 place on the leaderboard, so well within 1% and that's where I gonna settle. As you can see, the whole lap I was quite a bit behind, probably about half a second there. So if I can improve on those original initial sections, I could improve my overall time. And only here, in one corner before the last, I actually pulled ahead and went in the last corner quite a bit better than him and still behind by one tenth. But maybe one time I'll get back on the track and pull the whole lap together and beat that time. For today though, it is over. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.